Howdy folks, Tax Grabner here with Tax Grabner Outdoors. I'm out here in the woods doing a little bit of scouting, make sure my tree stands are all accounted for. Deer season's coming up real quick, but I'm sure you guys have been waiting all year long to see what I'm taking to the woods this year. Tax Grabner Outdoors Deer Season 2013 is brought to you by Copenhagen Black. That's right, baby. Black is back. The warning says smokeless tobacco is addictive. Now I do not endorse chewing or smoking by minors, but what I will say is when the warning on my chew can says smokeless tobacco is addictive, they mean this is some really good shit. Now, I don't even know why I'm making this video, because my trademark seems to be the guy with the hunting show that never kills a deer. However, we fixate on our gear because it's the only part of the fucking hunt that we actually have any control over. So, prepare to fixate away as I go through my setup for 2013. The two bows that I intend on using this year are my Martin Hunter in 75 pounds, which is the recurve, and my Martin Firecat Nitro 2 400, which is my compound. I'm going to go through what's on my compound. The recurve is pretty self explanatory. And I'm also going to go through my choice of quiver and how I have assembled my arrow. What is the well-dressed compound bow wearing this season? My accessories, my sight, my rest are both Vital X, previously known as Vital Bow Gear. My sight is a Vital X Vision 5. It also comes in a 4 pin model. This is a 5 pin model. It is not a cheap sight. But keep in mind, buy once, cry once. That's all you gotta worry about. Buy it once and you're not going to have to upgrade because this sight is fucking space age. It has surgical needles that have been heat formed to the correct angles they are angular pins which as you can see there you can hardly even see the actual pin and you fixate on the actual fiber optic that is encased in the needle each pin moves independently and each pin has a two and a half foot section of fiber optic for that pin itself. Very impressive. Also impressive is the Vital X Meat Hunter Arrow Rest. This arrow rest is not only very pretty because it is molded and shaped like a pair of kudu horns, but importantly, it is a drop away arrow rest. But unlike other drop away arrow rests, when this full capture rest is let down, if the arrow is not shot and the cord is drawn, it does not release. But because it is magnetically driven, when the sear is missed, upon launch of the arrow it will drop away my release is simply an old-school Walmart Allen company release no need for a trigger job when you shoot a release for years and years and years they get very smooth in their trigger mechanisms. I also use a doe hide Damascus 
as my shooting glove for my traditional bows. My arm guard of choice for my traditional tackle is this. I have no idea what it is, but I have to say that the wolf paw print buttons that hold my elastic is pretty badass. I believe I bought this at the Bass Pro Shop, so look around for it. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. What is the deadliest arrow of 2013? I'm famous for deadly arrows. The reason that I'm famous for deadly arrows is because my arrows are so deadly the deer are terrified of them and every animal in the woods leaves as soon as they hear Tex fucking Grabner's coming. Down to specifics. You might have noticed that I have feathers on all of my arrows, be it for my compound or for my recurve. I'm a big fan, as a survivalist and a prepper, I guess, of redundancy and caliber duplicity. Which means that when I built these arrows, I wanted to be having one set of arrows that I could use either for my compound or for my recurve. And having feathers allows me to do that. These are 4 inch barred shield cut feathers from Three Rivers Archery. I have a Three Rivers Archery zebra cresting wrap. I'm using the standard Easton knock on my Easton full metal jackets which are cut to 30 and a half inches which allows me to use an arrow rest or shoot off the shelf. My broadhead is a 300 grain werewolf. This is a single right beveled broadhead. Dr. Ashby approved and I'm using a standard insert. My total arrow weight is 735 grains giving me my 10 grains per pound of draw weight and as these arrows are cut to 30 and a half inches, it also gives me a 19 and a half weight forward of center ratio. For those of you screaming at the screen, damn, that's a heavy arrow. Yeah, you're right, but it's perfectly matched to both my traditional bow and my compound. I can shoot my compound accurately out to 50 yards with this setup and I would feel confident with either bow and this arrow taking on a hippo, a cape buffalo, lion, leopard, water buffalo, kodiak, grizzly, moose, or elk. So I know that it will take a whitetail. My quiver of choice is a Palmer Bow Works Bowmate Elite. It is a back quiver. There is no reason to spend exorbitant amounts of money on vibration dampening quivers when the easiest way to remove vibration and sound from your equipment is to shoot a heavy enough arrow that there is no energy left in the bow to cause vibration and also not to use your quiver on your bow. It's simple. The Palmer Bow Works Bowmate Elite is covered in camo printed suede. So it's quiet going through the woods. It has a foam pad in the bottom of the quiver so you can stick your arrows into the foam and they won't rattle together. It substitutes a backpack even because it has a pouch for cameras, calls, a water bottle. To me it just makes sense. You save more money in the end and you can take less in the woods with you that you need to worry about hanging up on your tree. I hope this video has been helpful to you. As always, God bless all my sportsmen of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please check out my friends over at LegallyConcealed.org. Thank you very much to those who have been involved in law enforcement and those of you who served in the military. And thanks for watching Tex Grabner Outdoors. Stay tuned.